Hey guys, what is going on? Nicholas Nick back in the house after an incredible weekend in California. I've never been out there before. Uh, my girlfriend took me out and we went to uh, LA, Hollywood, uh, San Clemente, one of her favorite spots, and really just enjoyed a very large slice of California this weekend. It was phenomenal. Um, so I'm ready to get back to work. I'm ready to get on these phone calls, ready to get back into crushing it. Let's see how these calls treat us. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Feel free to share what you did uh, in the comments. I'd love to know how we all decompress and how we all really uh, spent our weekend. Hopefully it was great and restorative uh, for you. Um, but if not, then this week is gonna be as we continue to kick butt in our business. Let me take a look what leads we're going to be calling today. I've been having a lot of success with the slide broadcast system. Um, I've been very, very happy about it. Um, so that's been good. We've got some cool calls going on there. I may even call through a couple of the slide callbacks uh, to see if I can get a hold of anybody. Uh, what we do is we divide and conquer. If they actually leave voicemails, my business partner calls them back since it's his name and voice on the voicemail. And then if they call and hang up, I call them back. And I uh, just say, hey, I believe we missed a missed call. It probably would have been in regards to um, a voicemail we left you a couple days ago about buying properties in your area. Does that ring a bell? Let's go ahead and see where we are at today. All right, we are all ready. Getting loaded up here. We're going to be calling our Driving for Dollar campaign again. Let's see where we're at with that. All right, let's make it happen. We do have roughly 300 phone numbers to dial on this list, and I have Call Hammer on which call hammer is a feature where we'll call every number as long as uh, the people don't pick up. You are now logged into the Mojo Dollar. Please press the start button on your screen to begin calling. Give him the hammer. What's up, Chris? The hammer. I know I have no idea what called hammer does because we never normally have multiple phone numbers under one contact. And then I got this skip trace list with like four to five phone numbers per contact. And I was like, how does this work? I thought everything would have to be done through the nurture dialer. Come to find out, it doesn't. And you just select call hammer and it will automatically call every number associated with that contact which is pretty cool. Hello, this is Brian Torres. I'm not able to reach the phone right now. Just uh, leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.
Yes, please. This shirt is actually a, a piece of a costume. <laughs> um, look at this thing. If anyone plays Fallout, it's a Fallout t-shirt. And uh, it's about a post-apocalyptic world. Look at this thing. Nerd status. Nerd status. Hello? Hello? Uh, you know, I wonder if they have one in red. Red and yellow. It's very cutesy. It's actually my girlfriend. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm sorry. I may not have the right number. I I'm looking for the owner of uh, 2021 Northwest 2nd Street in Miami. No, I have the wrong number. Oh, no. Sorry. All right. It's okay. Hope you have a great day. I'm live. Not much. Get home. I thought I heard you, but I wasn't sure. I, we did. Was it like 9 30? Yeah. 10 o'clock? Because yeah. I had fallen asleep. I was actually passed out. Oh, yeah, at the oh, time? I got up at fucking 4 30 yesterday morning. It was yesterday? It was this morning a hike, too? I just saw a yeah. photo. You went again? Yeah. Well, where'd you go? You went to the place. place dude, I'm addicted to this trail. It's the best Which trail. one is it? It's called the Unwind's Trail. It's Unwind. literally, you, you, you start off and you immediately you do this thing where you can go this <laughs> You go this way all weekend long. Yeah. We've, been, we've been playing. Um, you start, you can go left and you go on a nice flat trail and it kind of goes about a mile and then you go up the mountain or you go right and it puts you right up the side of the mountain. So I thought, fuck it. I got lost the first day. I was like, fuck that. Until I see another trail. So I tried the other way. I got lost again, but it was okay. And the right. second time, it, Nick, it's beautiful. It's Is it short? Because I didn't think you left no. for very long today. Oh, wow. What time did you leave this? I feel like I heard you leave. I know where I'm going now. Yeah. I immediately got lost. Um, yeah, so it's a 1.7 mile loss right. last time. Yeah, that's a long time. Yeah, it's, it's like half of a hike. hike. Yeah. Yeah, half this hike. So what ended up was the hike itself only takes about an hour and a half. What you do is you go up one side, but you you literally so it's a loop. You walk. It's not really a loop. But here's the cool part: you can see the whole trail going up the side of the mountain. Just when you go like this, and then you go back up again, and then you go down again, and you. Go, and you're walking on the top of the ridge of the mountain right, for, yeah. for three quarters. And it's that south mountain. I'll, I'll have to check that out. Yeah, you should come with me one more. Yeah, I will. I've got it mesmerized. So. I will come with you. Yeah, yeah what time did you leave this morning? It was, uh, it, I was five, up. Five. Really? Was five that early? Five twenty. Yeah, yeah, I woke up at I was four up. till the kitty came in because she wasn't in the room last night with you guys. Yeah, right. She, the first right thing she did when I opened up the door was come in and jump on me. <laughs> Hello? 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 Yes? Hey, I'm sorry. Uh, I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of 5401 Southwest 28th Street. In the first place? Yeah, hey, uh, my name's Nicholas and I invest in real estate in the area. I was just calling to follow up to see if you've ever considered selling before. No, they not they not do. All right, thank you. Yeah, it's it's, it's a beautiful walk, is what it is. It's yeah. just really it's really thin, narrow, but all the whole way. It's so cool. You close your eyes for a minute, you will get lost. Really? There's a, is there a lot of trails, or does the trail just end in many places? There's a couple places where the trail just there is no trail because the way the rocks are set up. You kind of have to go over the rocks and just sort of. Oh, right. And thank God, you for just the all go. Mail, thank God for the all trails map. Yeah, Otherwise, it tells you where to go. Oh, right? my God. Yeah, it's fucking yeah. crazy. It's so easy. Hello? Hello. Hi. Yeah, I'm sorry to bother. I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of uh, 5420 Southwest 25th Court. No. No. You got it. Not even close. Not even close. All right. No. I guess I shouldn't go play the darts no. today. No. Huh? All right. Thank you. No, no. Yeah, keep saying no, lady. See what happens. <laughs> uh, nobody, nope, 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 nope. 
Can I buy a yes? I always forget about my laundry. And the, I, for, I forget to remember it. I'm like, set a timer. Yeah. Set a timer. Yeah. Set a, well, I normally do, but recently I've been saying set a timer, but not <laughs> setting the timer. The secret. The secret part of it. Yeah, the secret to the secret is actually doing it, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Well, it's really close too. It's only like 15 minutes. It's like three rights. So you go out here, you go out here. Out it's here. not as far as the other ones. Huh? I don't think really. it's far at all. Which is probably why I think you're making it back so fast. The other one, I feel so like fast. a 30 minute drive each no, way. Yeah, that adds to it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you go down um, rural, you go left on rural, you know, right where that, um, right in the corner there, rural and, and Broadway. And you go down to Elliot. You go down to Elliot for like three and a half miles, and then uh, it's right there on the uh, uh, right off the of 44. How hard is that? It's really hard. Is it hard? Yeah. Very steep. Is that what you mean by it's hard? It's just constant, constant, constant climbing. Up, up, yeah. up, up, up. And then when you get to the top of it, what happens is you climb across a couple of little ridges. So you go down, but then you go back up, and then you go down, and right. then you go back up, and then eventually. You get That's kind of the nice though. Because your muscles aren't dying just going up or just going down. Yes. I like the mix up. Initially, getting up to the top. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll tell you right now, I've got a tight ass. I've got a tight ass. My butt, my butt keeps are getting tight. And, uh, See where we're at. The only thing I don't like about Call Hammer is it doesn't tell you how many dials you're actually doing. Well, there it's only based off the contact, but it doesn't say total daily contacts dialed. It says total daily dials. So if I have six phone numbers. Under one thing, I'm live by the way, so you know. But if I have, if I have six phone numbers, it will call them all, but it won't say six nine. And in reality, you're shortchanging my metrics because I've just made six dots. You know, and I don't like my metrics shortchanged. That was incredible. Did you been to California before? No. Where you guys ended up? We went everywhere. We went to um, Beverly Hills. All right. We went to, or maybe that was Hollywood. Whatever all the stars' names are. Oh, that's And the Chinese that. Theater. Chinese Theater, yeah. That's LA, downtown LA. That's downtown LA. 
Okay, that was pretty cool. Yeah. It's really invasive. I mean, it's like really crazy. It's like being in the Bahamas where people pedal shit, but you're not. I, I Ash didn't warn me on how to conduct myself in public. And so all these people are out there handing you CDs. So the rest of the joke, we called it a polite mugging because right. this one guy hands me a CD. Oh, hey, man, hey, man, hey, he follows you. Hello? hello? Hey, I'm sorry to bother. I, hello? I, hello? I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of uh, 6100 Southwest 18th Street. Uh, that's not him. I apologize. You have a great day. Yeah. So, um, he hands me the CD. Ash ignores him, rightfully so. And then I'm like an inch behind her. And he hands me the CD and I grab it and he follows me. He's a cool guy. I didn't come back. Oh, okay. I appreciate the hustle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got to take my lumps. <laughs> I did say while he started talking to me, I said, oh, she was so much smarter than me, wasn't she? <laughs> That's exactly what I said. And I said, ah, she goes, that's common sense. If you're from California or the Bahamas. Hello. Hey, I'm sorry to bother. Hello. Hello. I may, I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of uh, 7777 Northeast Third Court. Well, yes, that's what I'll do. What is it that you're looking for there? Yeah, I'm sorry. My name is Nicholas, and I invest in real estate in the area. And I was just calling to follow up to see if you've ever considered selling before. No, not. No, you haven't? All right. Well, if you wouldn't mind, maybe take it. Maybe. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. Okay. There's some place that I can't really hear you. You've been in the area, and, you, and you're and you all the what? Yeah, what it did is uh, I, we were driving the area. We saw the property, and we thought it might be something of interest to us. And uh, I was just wondering if you guys ever considered selling? God, no, it's a business. Oh, it's a business address. Gotcha. All right. I apologize. Thank you so much for your time. God, that smells good. What are you cooking? Just bacon. Oh. New bacon? Huh? Is it new? The new brand? No. Same old bacon? This is, I got some front of the house. Smells good. Big block. Big bread bacon. Have a good day. Smells great. Oh, I changed out the room a little bit too. Did you? Oh, did you? They're in that closet. Oh, really? The outside one? All of them? Oh, the big one? It's a big one. Yeah, well, one, yeah. Yeah. I just bought a memory foam topper that would be on Thursday. Yeah. Ash woke up complaining her back was hurting. I was like, you know, my back hurts in this bed too. Let's freaking do something about it. And I said, but we're both side sleepers, and that bed's the worst for a side sleeper because it's, it's such a firm basis right. to it, yeah. you know? Well, I do sleep on my side, but. I wish I didn't. I'm a back. I'm a back. I, I, I would love to be I a back. I do this for Colin Sheridan Technical College. I do this. For salon and spa services. I do that sometimes too, the yeah. twist, yeah. yeah. I try to do that to stay on my back. Yeah. I have a really hard Your time. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic... Please enter the area code and phone number. 
So I watched those um, Philip K. Dick's Electric Dreams. Never heard of it. It's the new Amazon. It's a new series on Amazon. A series? Yeah. And uh, I got to tell you, most of it sucks. Who's in it? There's a few of them that are, it's, a, it's, a, it's an anthology. There's 10 oh, unique okay. stories. They're all different. There's a couple that are really good. Like the first, I want to say the first two or three are really good. And then the rest of them just kind of. Yeah. You have reached the voicemail like box. Of the first two or three, three got them to invest in it. And the next. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. No, there was probably out of, out of the ten, there were probably four or five that I thought were these are decent. The other four or five were. Good. I don't know. I just didn't like them very much. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I'm sorry to bother. I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of uh, 915 Sharar Avenue. Um, I don't know. Sorry. All right. Thank you so much. Sorry about that. Okay, that's fine. You're doing this unique thing where I've got five skip trace numbers. The first number is normally always the person. The next four are almost never. So it's like in this case, I've gotten six contacts, but they're all not the people, you know? Right. And I would let that be a lesson to everybody uh, to say that before you get a skip trace service that gives you multiple numbers, try the main number first. You know, don't invest in those other five numbers because someone could just be dumping digits into a spreadsheet. And I think when you're hunting someone down is when you want to pursue the, the rest of them. Right. Like we had this one guy that we had, uh, we couldn't get him on the phone. We had the offer. We had everything ready. Hello. We couldn't get him on the phone. And then Chris actually put him through, I forget, it was like a $5 skip trace program. He got the guy right away. But it was like, that was to make an offer. You know what I mean? It was like. Please leave your message for three. I found a multiplex four miles away. Me and my dad, my dad. Yeah. Hey, um, I'm so sorry to bother. I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of 2360 Rutland Street. Um, that's not me. I apologize. Thank you so much. You're welcome. How many people in the multiplex? Two people? Four. Four. It's a four yeah. unit. Yeah. I don't know how long you're sticking around for, but and I, it's all fully rented right now. Yeah. But I think that might be perfect if we bought it. It has a three two and a half, a three one, a two one, and a one one. It's got everything. Because I would take the three two and a half. It's all fully rented right now. Right. But it's like man, that thing's got everything. God damn it, Kitty. <laughs> I'm just jumping at She's you. She's been attacking me all week because I keep playing with her. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh my god. Hello. Hello, hi. I'm sorry to bother. I may not have uh, the right phone number. I'm looking for the owner of 2355 Rutland Street. Of what? Uh, 2355 Rutland Street. Yeah. 
you have the wrong number. I apologize. Thank you so much. Craig, look at us. <laughs> like ready to pounce on you through the thing. Is that something you're going to go in with your dial? Yeah. So it's, it's like uh, 300,000. Even more ironic, it's, um, I got it asking about another one that wasn't right for me. I found uh, another multiplex that was four two ones. Hello? Hello? Hello, hi. I'm sorry to bother. I mean, hello. Hello. I mean, I have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of uh, 2355 Rutland Street. Yeah, cash flow is about eight hundred to a thousand bucks a month right now. If it stays fully rented, if I moved in there, cash flow zero, but yeah. I would pay my mortgage. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's supposedly three miles from Tempe Marketplace and one mile from the other place. Uh, there's another mall we haven't gone to called Mesa River. Okay. Please look your message. One mile from there. I got a feeling it either is in a war zone or recently was because they said you could fix it up and charge a lot more if you wanted to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And judging by the outside, is. But it doesn't, it's fully rented. You know, so it's not like I'm okay with the way it's currently performing. Has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. She wants to go in here. I do have more. I cleaned it up. I couldn't find one. I feel like there was. Oh, I think it's in this front closet here. I have no idea. Oh. What do you think about that? Guys, we are 90 dials in. I'm going to go ahead and stop this for now. Thank you all so much for tuning in. This is all a big learning experience. I've had six contacts, three bad numbers, called roughly 95 people. Uh, this is a list where we've skipped traced multiple needs, multiple numbers. Uh, what I found is the first number that they give you is normally the best one. Hello? Hello, hi. I'm so sorry to bother. I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of 1991 Wilmington Street. Oh, no. Oh, no? I apologize. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm sorry to bother. I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of uh, 14150 Northwest 22nd Court. I apologize. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Yeah, and that's actually just those two calls just reinforced the point I was making. A lot of wrong numbers. I, I'm not saying don't spend time on it. I'm just saying if you're in love with the skip tracing service and they can give you one number or five, let's start with the one. Give those a call. They're always the highest and greatest accuracy. I don't mind doing my due diligence. It's a part of my business model. But if you guys can't spend time sifting through a lot of these, I would go with the first column numbers, and they're normally pretty dead on. I've never really gotten this many wrong numbers before. Um, so just a little tidbit lesson for everyone out there. All right, guys, hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow.